Okay, hey again. Uh, now uh, we are preparing to, to go out from uh, from this industrial backyard backyard outside Jokmok. And I got company by, by a friend, Matti, who runs the guide company uh, Jokmok Aidena. And we will go by these today, snowmobiles, on uh, to a former uh, uh, mountain where a ski resort, not a resort, uh, ski slopes. Uh, and the, the sky looks great so far, completely clear. The sun is under, is under the horizon, as you can see here. Um, so it looks pretty good. Hello and welcome to Jokmok in Swedish Lapland. You all know that feeling. Uh, looks very good and uh, you prepare your gear, you go out and put it up and then suddenly from nowhere the clouds appear. Uh, yesterday was such a day but it all started quite good. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's around uh, minus 17 degrees so not that cold. Uh, it's completely clear. Um, and I think I will shoot the M45, and it's one of my favorite ob objects. Uh, I think it's uh, very beautiful. It glimmers like a, a diamond in the sky. And it was also one of the first objects that I shot with my EOS uh, one and a half years ago. So it will be interesting to see the difference uh, when I'm doing M45 with my uh, uh, CWO 2600 MC Pro. And uh, by the way, I'm standing here in a roundabout with some ice sculptures. And uh, this is the week of the Jokmok Winter Market, uh, one of the oldest markets in the world. It, it was founded in 1605. But this year it's uh, of course cancelled due to the ongoing pandemic situation in the world. But now I will have some lunch and begin to prepare my gear for tonight's shooting. You can't see me. Oh, but now we're on the top of this uh, mountain, uh, Skabramoive, uh, where there were a ski slope once. So we have Jokmok down there. there. Uh, so we are a few kilometers outside of, the, of town. So it's a little better seeing here uh, because it could be at some haze around near the city. And we have a beautiful view from up here we can see all the way to, to the Sarek National Park and the snow-capped mountains uh, and the sky look uh, great tremendous I can see the <coughs> polar star and the M45 high up in the sky so now I will uh, dig for my gear here it's uh, roughly even in that direction and as you know because we are at uh, about 66 degree north and uh, this mount the Skywatcher EQ 6R Pro has a, a latitude limit at 65 degree I have to lower this south leg a few degree. After I did the polar alignment I started to shoot and the, and the first subs looked great. The sky was very clear but then I had to take a break to do a, a meridian flip. Matti got a little bit interested in astrophotography too, but was afraid that 
Stina would kill him slowly if he came home with the idea to begin, begin with this hobby. <laughs> Matti says here that if he, if he comes home and tells uh, Stina that he will begin to begin with astrophotography, she will kill him. <laughs> slowly. Slowly. And, and then she will find you yeah. and kill you slowly too. And then that's the end of your channel too. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Okay, now I have done a, a meridian flip, so uh, soon after I'm shooting again, so I will find Okay, so now we have done a meridian flip, so it has slewed glued to the target and now it's doing a plate solve. Okay, so I seen people doing snowboard flips and this was something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> astrophotography do the same kind of flip. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, during the break for the meridian flip a, a cloud cover pulled over so the next sub looked very fussy. So nothing more to do than, than just wait and see and uh, drink coffee. So Matt is about to make fire here. He found his matches. <laughs> we have a lot of gasoline in the in the snowmobile, so yeah. if we don't succeed with this, we have to burn one snowmobile because coffee is important. <laughs> yeah. But there were no hope, it soon began to snow also. Uh, and there were quite strong aurora activity also. But we didn't see so much of it because it was over the clouds. That's the life as an astrophotographer for north of the Arctic Circle here in Swedish Lapland. So, uh, it began uh, very good, very promising and with, with complete clear sky, but, but now it's no so i think uh, i have to stop shooting for tonight and uh, but i got uh, i think five subs that are that look great so i i have to continue tomorrow or the next day it's when it's clear again uh, five subs subs is uh, every exposure oh, okay You need 30. Yeah, 20, 30. Oh. I need um, uh, about two hours on M45 to bring out all this uh, nebulosity oh. that surrounds the stars. <laughs> so I have packed, packed my gear. So <laughs> better luck next time, I hope. But when I looked at the files today, I got the idea to process them anyway uh, and to compare the result from these four subs, 20 minutes integration time with uh, the image that I took with my Canon EOS 60D, uh, 2 hours and 10 minutes. So we will take a look at that comparison in the next video, so stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my Northern Panorama channel if you want to share my Arctic astrophotography adventures. <laughs>